Hi, in this video we're going to use the Entity Framework to be able to search for one record. So we're in the middle of an application where we're building a list of objects and we're trying to, to display one item this time. In a previous uh, lesson, just the last video, we displayed everything here. So we're going to do something similar using this context variable. So in our uh, controller, we are expecting to show details and that makes one record visible on the screen. So we need to send a gadget and we're going to then display that one gadget on the next view. So how do we get that gadget? Well, we first of all have to define it. So we're going to define it as a type of gadget model and then uh, give it the name gadget. We're going to get it from the same source that we got everything in the previous example. So context.gadgets. But now we need to filter it and just get one result. So I'm going to put in a dot. This time I'm going to put in the word single and it looks like I have several choices. So I want to do single or default. Now inside of the parentheses I need to give it a filter name. So this is called an anonymous function. So I'm going to pick a letter like G for gadget and then an arrow function and then G dot. So G dot means give me the properties. I could choose name, ID, description, appears in. Well I'm searching for this item here which is the ID number. So let's choose ID equals and then a lowercase id. So this id is the parameter that comes from up here in line 34. Okay, I've got an error. It says here you can't use this. You need to have a double equal sign. So therefore, we're checking, not assigning. Okay, so there's your format. So we've got one gadget that comes from context, single or default, and then the anonymous function is like a filter. So it says find only one guy. All right, and it's going to show a gadget here. Let's see if this runs. I'm going to run it and then test it. All right, so the application's up and running. Let's choose the show gadgets to display everybody and we should see the entire list. So once the list is up, if I want to show the Geiger counter details, I go to the details link and you can see that uh, gadget slash details one is what comes up and it did find exactly one. So you can either type in a number at the top such as 19 or you can go back to the list and select anybody from the list and you can see the list. So there you go, that's the uh, details item and we have created a new type of uh, selection here. It's called single or default followed by this anonymous function that does filtering for us. And the next video we're going to go and try the others where we got create, edit, and delete.